In this project, we will simulate the non-premixed combustion in a combustion chamber. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. A new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluid software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. Now if you expand the model section and double click on the energy button, in the appeared window you can see we have enabled the energy equation since we wanted to calculate the temperature changes inside our computational domain. And finally under the control tab you can include or exclude any particular species. And finally, if you click on the Species tab, you can see in front of the mean mixture fraction we have entered the value of 0, meaning that no fuel is entered through this boundary. Now, if you click on the Fuel Inlet, again you can see that the type of this boundary is defined as Mass Flow Inlet. Just like the previous boundary, by clicking on Edit button, you can further adjust the settings related to this boundary. Again, under the Momentum tab in front of the Mass Flow Rate, you can see the Mass Flow Rate of the Fuel. Now for the next wall, under the Thermal tab, you can see Coupled Thermal Condition is defined, meaning that this wall is in contact with fluid on its both sides. After double-clicking on the Controls button, in the middle section of the software window, you can see that new part will appear. In the Appear part, you can see under Relaxation Factors for different parameters. Now these values are set here by the software automatically. You can change these values which are between 0 and 1 by yourself for different projects you do. But it is highly recommended that you do not do that since it may result in divergence. There are two ways to check that your simulation process have reached convergence or not. Alongside checking the residuals reaching and nearing zero, you may define an arbitrary report or an arbitrary boundary in order to calculate different parameters like pressure, velocity, temperature, and see whether they reach a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation process have reached convergence. However, you must check the residuals as well. To create such report, you can simply right-click on Report Definitions, go over New, and select one of the options available based on your simulation. Now to extract graphical data, just expand Graphics section, right-click on Contours, and then select New. In the Appeared part, under the Contours of section, you can select your desired variable. For example, in this slide, you can see we have selected Temperature. And then, by just clicking on Save or Display button, the software will show you the temperature's contour. Now in this slide, you can clearly see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain, and you can see the temperature has increased drastically due to the occurrence of combustion in our model. And in this slide, you can see the distribution of methane mass fraction in our domain, and you can easily see that the methane mass fraction decreases right after it exits through the fuel inlet boundary due to its consumption in the combustion process.
You can also extract velocity vectors by just right clicking on vectors and then clicking on new. The appeared window, just click on save or display button so that the software will show you the velocity vectors inside our model. And finally, in this slide, you can see the path lines of uh, air and fuel flow in our model. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.